the meaning of life is to give life a meaning welcome to the video session of mahindraguru.com wherein today we are going to have a video session on the topic on the topic the presentation layer the protocols and division and the subdivisions that are associated with the presentation layer now let us have a look where in the seven layer architecture the presentation layer is situated the presentation layer is the layer 6 of the seven layer architecture of osi model and the layer above the presentation layer is the seven layer the final layer the application layer let us have a view on the seven layer architecture of osi the very first layer that we have is the physical layer followed by the data link layer and then after we have the network layer the third layer of osi model the network layer is uh, followed by the transport layer that is the layer 4 and the session layer the layer 5th the presentation layer the topic for today and finally the application layer the presentation layer is actually located below the application layer or above the fifth layer that is the session layer now let us see what protocol or which protocol is associated with the presentation layer the presentation layer is equipped with one of the most practical protocol that is MIME multi-purpose internet mail extension now is something clear with the full form is it no let us say an important internet standard that is used to provide used to provide what that is used to provide add-on that is used to provide add-on facilities to the email service now this protocol provides add-on features to the existing email services now what are the add-on features the add-on features are it facilitates the user to attach what to attach audio images or video files or applications files application files along with the textual data now this is a very important protocol why because this facilitates us to attach images to attach videos to attach applications files to attach audios to what to the existing textual data in uh, email a very important one we all must have used one day or the other multi-part message bodies is also provided by the very same protocol now two points remember the first one it provides the facility to attach audio images videos and application file and the second point that it also provides multi-part message body the full form is very important one most often it is asked in the po as well as the clerk examination so the full form should be noted down now let us see what all divisions are there in the case of presentation layer in the case of presentation layer we have two subdivisions the case and the SASC common application service element known as CASE or specific application service element known as SASE very important the full forms are very important if we take the SOIT examination in consideration. Now, let us see what all services are provided by the case layer, the case sub layer. Case, common application service element, as we all know, is a sub layer providing services to the common application. Now, what all services are provided, what all protocols lie in this, in this, in this layer, let us have a check. Rows, remote operation service element. Now, the full form itself justifies what is the task associated with the standard remote operation service element remote operation service element this protocol provides remote operation capabilities what capabilities remote application remote operation capabilities and also allows interaction between objects objects or entities interaction between objects or entities in a distributed application environment now the rose protocol or the rose standards work in which environment it works in the distributed application environment and what it does it provides the connectivity the connection between between the objects and objects of what objects of the different application that are located or that are installed or that are being executed on different nodes in a network the second one that we have is the RTSE, Reliable Transfer Service Element. Now, a word transfer is associated with it, transfer, and the second word is reliable. It means something is being transferred on a network, that too, in a reliable manner. 
Now, what is transferred? Let, uh, let us have a look. Allows application to transfer large amount of data. The RTSE, very important one. SOIT, very important one. The reliable transfer service element allows the application to allows the application transfer what? Transfer large amount of data. Now, moving over to the second sub layer, and that is SASE, specific application service element. Now, this is a sub layer of uh, presentation layer. We all know RDA, the, the very first standard, remote database access is a protocol used to access database and provide now this is an important and provide connection between the client client and the server databases this is a point that should be memorized provides connection between the client as well as the server databases now the second one that we have is the DTT distributed transaction processing this takes in account the transactions that are being done on that have been done on distributed systems that are located on a distance. This takes in account the transactions that are being processed, that are being done, that are being executed on a distributed system. Now, the distance can be of a country, the distance can be of a state, the distance can be of a city. So, now we have few questions here. Let us see what the questions are asking. The presentation layer is also known as a dash. Memorize the previous VDPs. The presentation layer is also known as yes, very good. Is also known as is also known as the syntax layer. Important question for clerk as well as for PO. Is also known as the syntax layer. Now, the second question. The second question is asking name the subdivisions of layer six of OSI model. Now, first of all, clarify the question. Layer six. Oh. Name the layer 6 of OSI model. Yes, it is. It is the presentation layer. Now, define the subdivision, the sub layers of presentation layer. Yes, we know it. What are the subdivisions of presentation layer? The subdivisions are CAC, case, and SAC. Let's have a look. Case, common application service element, case, and special application service element, SASE. The, the two subdivisions are case as well as SASE. Okay. The third question is asking, name the protocol which allows the applications to transfer large amount of data. You all know the protocol that is used to transfer large amount of data. No, the protocol that is used by the applications to transfer large amount of data. Now, come out with the answer quick. Think it over again and again. Yes, the answer is, the answer is reliable transfer service element or most often known as RTSE, Reliable Transfer Service Element, very important one. Then after the fourth question and the final question is asking, Dash Protocol of Presentation Layer provides connection between client and server databases. Yes, you know the answer. Which protocol provides the connection between the client and the server database? The answer is, the answer is Remote Database Access or RD. These questions are very important for clerk, for PO and for SO examination. So next, next DG page will be on the application layer, the layer 7 of the OSI model and the final layer of OSI model. Thanks for being a part of this video session. Do join us on mahindraguru.com and please do subscribe us on your YouTube channel and that is www.youtube.com forward slash C, forward slash Mahindra Guru videos. Your success is our success. Thank you.